This instrument is called as a vernier caliper. Note. It is commonly used for making precise measurements. Now, let's take a look at the construction of vernier caliper. The vernier caliper consists of a main scale on which measurements are in millimeter on the bottom side of the main scale and in inches on the top side of the main scale. Note. We generally prefer to use the bottom scale, which is in millimeter. The main scale has two fixed jaws. On this main scale, there is a sliding scale called vernier scale with two jaws, which are movable. Vernier scale has divisions at the top and bottom. The vernier scale consists of a metal strip, the extreme right hand side, and is called as depth gauge. There is a screw at the top of the vernier scale to hold and lock the main scale firmly while taking readings. Now, let's learn where is it used. Note. This instrument is used for measuring length, breadth, height, and width of an object. In automobiles, it can be used to measure diameter and thickness of objects, for example gear changed rum, piston, clutch plate, etc. Now, let's understand, how is it used? To measure the spring length, hold the spring between outer jaws and tighten the locking screw. Caution, hold the spring between the jaws, as indicated. Now, note down the reading on main scale. So, the total reading can be calculated as, total reading equals to, main scale reading, plus, vernier scale division, multiply by, least count, Total reading equals to 